Hello, everybody. I'm Sharp and Blade, and I'm here with Gideon from Gideon Stuff. And today we're going to be looking at some Wii knives for 2022. So, Ooh. yeah, this should be interesting, eh? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so we're going over most of the stuff that was revealed at SHOT Show. I guess we'll start here with the vision. Yeah, it's quite a vision. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is the one that I heard a lot of people being the most excited about. Everyone was talking about this one at show and, you know, away from the show, too. Yeah. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of got, like, features from multiple knives in here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, like the uh, spine lock. That's one thing. And I'm not saying it's a ripoff. Well, you know, it's funny. Everyone's doing that type of lock. You know, Cold Steel has the new Atlas lock okay. where they're, like, different than the Shark lock, but, you know, they kind of work in the same yeah. way. So I think it was kind of inevitable that we see people doing their own spin on that. Yeah. It is cool. But, this one comes apart. Did you see on uh, uh, Knife Center's footage of it? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> Yeah. He just popped right out of there. I was like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the pocket clip. Yeah. Worries me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have I a knife that has a pocket clip like that. And it's okay, but it disappears into the spine of the knife, so you don't feel it. This right. one, I think you're going to feel that one. <laughs> well, let's see. The only other knife that I can think of was... Um, like a Graham Razel. I can't remember if it was in one of the CRKT ones or one of, one of his. Like one of the Razel knives had a clip like that. Yeah. I never I never handled that, so I don't know how they work, but I don't know if, I, if I'm a big fan of that. Well, it's really awkward in the pocket, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like the, the one that I have, it's I've only carried it a few times just because it's really awkward. <laughs> it just sits at a weird angle. Right. Yeah. That's but, what I was afraid of. We'll have to see how this is. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I, I wonder what the price is on this. I don't think I heard anyone talk about what the pricing is going to be like. Now, I, don't I don't know if I saw one mention that. No, I haven't heard much about pricing other than one that you and I have been talking about quite a bit. So we'll yes. We'll, we'll <laughs> as far as this knife itself, I mean, the blade shape looks good. Uh, I can definitely see that being useful. Yeah. But, oh, for sure. You know, you brought my attention to the um, on the Blade HQ video, Kurt. This is fidget. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I haven't seen anyone like reverse flip this knife. They've all just been flapping it with the lock. You yeah. know. Yeah. And so I'm really curious to see what that action's like. Yeah, me too. Like, is it really soft? Like, is it not right. going to perform well other than flapping it around? <laughs> exactly. Because I mean, like the 80, 80 20 shows. Theoretically, it should be okay. Yeah. But, but I wonder yeah. if this is going, it must be going off a of spring too, is it somehow? I have no idea. Like, that's what I thought. But then when, like you said, the knife center video, when he just took it out of there. Yeah. Now that kind of made me wonder what's holding it in. Yeah, because if it was a spring, that spring would be gone. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. As, you know, you had springs eat themselves across the room when you're 80, 15, yeah. or 80, 20. <laughs> 0.5 video. <laughs> yeah, I almost lost an eye. <laughs> <laughs> an eye for an eye. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know, is there anything else about this knife? <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks cool. If it was on, like, it, it's, we'd have to get it in hand to see our issues, if they're actually issues. But if this had, like, right. a regular pocket clip and, like, a frame lock, I would definitely get this, because it is a cool-looking knife. It is pretty cool looking. Yeah. I, definitely something that would be interesting. Yeah. All right. So that's the Vision R. Oh, designed by Snacks. I think that everyone knows that. Yeah. Now, you really like this one, the press check. Yeah, the press check. This is one that I'm thinking about picking up. Uh, it's an Elisa Witch design, which I love his stuff. And this kind of looks, this looks cool to, to me. Um, yeah. I do know that it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was, actually. Oh, yeah? What's the overall length? I think the blade length is three inches. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it says here 3.17. Okay. So definitely a little bit on the smaller side. Yeah. But, you know, it looks pretty cool. The drop yeah. point or the Tonto, I think this is the Tonto shape we've got here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. But I think it'll be I think it'll be pretty cool. I was looking forward to the blue prototype they showed off, and then they got rid of the blue. So yeah, of course, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this blacked out version. It is is cool looking. It is cool. I like the fuller. I like the harpoon that comes all the way back, where you can get your thumb in there. Yeah, the ergos look pretty good. They, yeah, it looks like it locks your hand in pretty well. Right. I don't know. Again, this is one that I would, you know, I, I, I have a feeling that if I get it, I'm either going to love it or be disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, if that flipping action isn't isn't perfect. Uh, yeah. But we kind of have a feeling they tune this one more for the fuller. Yeah. I can't remember. Is it is the fuller easy to access when it's closed? I have no idea. I, I don't think I ever saw any one fuller flip this okay. one at SHOT Show either. <laughs> They mostly just flip the knives around. They don't really do much as far as action no, goes. <laughs> no, Shot shows more the more the showcase of design, I guess. Yeah, not I guess. The action. Yeah, but they do a great job of this year. I gotta say, I know they probably had to stay farther apart, but like a lot uh, of the times, everything was kind of out of focus and like really zoomed out. <laughs> right. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks cool. I'm not sure if there's a whole lot more to say. I mean, it's kind of a you run the mill titanium frame lock. It, yeah. it looks cool to me. I like the design. I hate harpoon blades where the harpoon is like way off at the tip and you can't get your thumb to it. So this one, yeah. this one's like the kind of harpoon I like. Yeah, the blades are really different. Sorry. But, yeah, I said a lot of people probably aren't going to like the recurve, but no. But it's not. It doesn't look like it's would be that hard to sharpen that. Like it's kind of a shallow recurve, so it shouldn't be okay. too too bad. All right. It looks like it has a reversible clip, at least from this picture. Yeah, so that's good. So that's, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, the press check. I think that was all right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one that everyone's talking about. Yeah. I like oh. the Malice, like the the full size one. It has a nice action. Uh huh. I, I don't trust their button lock action. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to handle the Malice. I have the yeah. Mine Axe. It's one of my favorite knives. I love Ferrum Forge designs. Yeah. Um, and they just discontinued the Malice, which made me really sad. And when I first saw this one, I was like, oh, this will be my chance to get a Malice, but it's actually smaller. Yeah. Than the original Malice. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I didn't find the Malice that big of a knife. Like, it's a bigger knife, but it's not, like, crazy big where you need to have a smaller version. Uh-huh. So, I don't, I guess they, it's good that they're bringing something that looks like the Malice, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does look good. It does yeah. look fantastic. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. I imagine they'll probably have multiple versions of this. I think the only one we've seen so far is the monochromatic look. I hope they bring back like the blue flamed titanium from the original. Yeah, that's a, that that's the one I have. It's really nice. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. But you know, you know, Savivi and we they're going to bring out multiple versions. <laughs> right. Uh, obviously. <laughs> you know. We has really been like going all in on this button lock. Yeah. Great. You know, especially in the Civivi line, I think this is the first Wii knife with a button lock. But yeah, I think you so. know, I was kind of, I was kind of interested to see them put it on this knife. Like, I wonder why they chose the Malice. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't get the the detent right, so they put a button lock on. It. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez. I just, I mean, it looks cool. For me, though, I don't think this one was as interesting to me as it was to a lot of other people because it's a design they've already had, but now there's a button. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, yeah, it's cool, but it's not super exciting. Exactly. It's not new. No. no. But, I mean, the ergos are probably fantastic. I imagine, 
I imagine the button lock probably works fairly decently. You know, with button locks, you have to have a little bit of a lighter detent, and we specialize in light detents, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I, I imagine it'll be enjoyed by a lot of people. Oh, for sure, yeah. Just not by us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might get one. Just yeah. to try it out. The curvaceous. Ooh, that's yeah, a very, that, very mm, name. I have mixed thoughts on this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Do you like this one? Um, honestly, not really. No, at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the first one to say it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just don't like this one very much. No. Uh, a compound ground Persian blade. I don't know what that's good for. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. I don't like Persian blades in the first place. So mm -hmm. like a, this this like super useless to me. <laughs> right. And how big is this one? 3.7 inches. So this is a big knife. It is, yeah. And that doesn't make it better for me, honestly. No. no. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, this one's just kind of meh. Like the, the bolster, the full bolster thing they're going for, I, it's just too big of a bolster. Like with Yeah. The, it's just, it looks really, I don't like it. <laughs> I agree. I yeah. agree. It should have just been full oh. titanium, I think. Right. I imagine they'll probably have a version, like maybe, I don't know. I don't think I've seen multiple versions. I think I saw this one, and is there an all- black one i think i saw i, I think have a different knife i think so but yeah i could be thinking of something else too right i don't know it's usually i'm a bigger fan of Wii's collaboration knives yeah but this one collaboration with aaron with eric oaks i don't know this one just doesn't do it for me at all i just no. i don't like it no <laughs> It's it's meh. Yeah. Okay. The shutter. This one actually it's, doesn't it's, look too bad. It's a it's again another Persian, isn't it? Yeah, trailing. Yeah, point. it's it's Persian or clip point. What was the other knife that has that same handle? Do you remember the name the, of that? Um, uh, wasabi. No, there's another one. I think it came out last year. Does it start with a G? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it does start with the G. The uh, the guava. Yeah. Is that it? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Guacamole, something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. guacamole, yeah. <laughs> guacamole. <laughs> yeah, it has that exact same handle. Yeah. You're right. But uh, I like that one better. <laughs> I, I do, too. Like, this one, this is another one where it's a cool knife, but... I don't know. I'm just kind of meh on it. Yeah. Like a lot of Wii designs, just kind of meh, you know? Yeah. I find this handle, like the milling on this handle doesn't really go with the rest of the knife. Like it's kind of like a modern futuristic kind of a milling that I think like in the bolster area. But then right. the, it just doesn't match that blade shape, I don't think. Right. The blade shape's more traditional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree busy handle and then a very plain traditional blade yeah you know it's like a lot of Wii designs like you know i look at it and i'm like oh you know that's a that's a good knife but i just have no desire to get it no you know <laughs> <laughs> just with the vv it doesn't cost as much so you can try out a few but uh right. you know, so much in the bunch of Wii's, it's like it's hard <laughs> Although Savivi's getting more expensive too, so <laughs> that, that, that is true. I guess nowadays, if you want the cheap ex uh, version, you have to go with the the sin cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is the one that you said you liked. Yeah. 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 I okay. Like I gotta say, I disagree with you on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this one. It looks like the um, the Kubi Nova. Have you seen that knife? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> to me, it kind of reminds me of the Kubi, the Kubi Nova. Okay. And yeah, I, I disagree with you on this one. Yeah. 
Well, that's the end of the call. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye. We're done. <laughs> Collaboration over. Never going to speak again. <laughs> no, I like the, it reminds me of the, uh, just to finish on it, it reminds me of the mini buster. It has like that bronze, like aged bronze black finish, which I like. But uh, the overall design of it, I mean, it's cool looking. Uh-huh. But I just like the finish on it the most. But if right. of all the the Wii knives, I like this one the most. <laughs> you know, I can I can kind of see what you're getting at there because the handle does remind me more of like the the older Wii knives that yeah. had like the more busy looking designs. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. They just need that star shaped uh, uh, right. and stuff, and then there you go. Bring back the star <laughs> hardware. Yeah. <laughs> back when Wii was different. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can get what you're saying. I like the handle, but for me, the blade just kind of, I don't know. Although this area up here, it looks like there's a little bit of an indentation a little ways just past the handle. If that's where the jimping is, I'm actually a big fan of that because I'm always complaining about knives not having jimping in the right spot. And so that looks like that could be nice. Yeah. But yeah, I agree but, with you. The blade is the weakest part of the knife for sure. Right. Three and a half inch blade, so full size knife. I mean, that's right in my my favorite size for for carry. Yeah. But all right. And then oh, we're gonna start on Civivi. We're gonna yeah. hold off on Civivi for a sec. I actually wanted to go over here to Blade HQ because, ta-da! Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> I think these were released like yesterday. Okay. The subjugator. The beacon. <laughs> That's what I thought it was a beacon with thumb studs. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, let's pull up this one here. This is kind of my whole thing with with Wii. Like, I can tell just looking at this, this is a good usable knife, mm-hmm. but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like the blue. Yeah, the blue it's... is fantastic. I love the blue yeah but it's just kind of a I, that's what i found with the last like last year's most of the savivi knives it's just everything's the same just bland and that's what i find with this too it's just bland there's like nothing exciting about it other than the blue other than the blue you know yeah. if someone comes up to me and they say that they're looking for a high-end or high-end ish edc knife i can definitely tell you know point them in this direction yeah you know like it's a, I imagine it's pretty well built. I imagine it, you know, it'll give you the performance you're looking for. But, you know, especially like, I, I you know, I look at knives in terms of, do I want to make a video about it nowadays a lot? Yeah. And so I can already tell how the video on this would go. It cuts good. It's a knife. <laughs> the end. Yeah. <laughs> and that doesn't excite me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, that's so, why I didn't stop looking at Civivis. I stopped getting them in because I just, like like you, uh, the reviews wouldn't be very good because I'd just be like, I don't like this knife. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It performs good, but it doesn't give you the the fuzzy wuzzies. I think that's a lefty EDC term, but the, it doesn't yeah. give you the, the warm inside. <laughs> no, that's right. Well, that's the other thing, too. And I, uh, Some people say this. There's no soul in a lot of these designs. And that's yeah. what... That's what's missing. There's, it's just another knife. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just, you know, if I had seen this when I was first getting into the knife hobby, I probably would have bought it, honestly, because yeah. it looks like a good functional tool. Yeah. But now, you know, I have my knives that I like to use. I know what works. And I'm looking for knives that are, like, different, you know, that look cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. No, that's, that's right. And then, I mean, we could bring this up real quick. I saw on YouTube the other day, we made a community post where they erroneously called the Civivi Altus the subjugator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because they do look basically identical. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're making your knives look too similar when you, when you make your uh, mistakes on your own knives. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I, I sent you that. And I was like, you yeah. know, this is just 
just perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> they, uh, that's what we've been saying all along. Yeah. Just cut and paste. Cut, yeah. copy, paste. Yeah. But gosh. Oh man. So I think that's I think that's most of the new Wii stuff that came out at Shop Show or Shot Show and and, and recently. Yeah, I think so. I mean there wasn't that many. I think there's some <laughs> interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nothing but, with the fuzzy wuzzies. <laughs> exactly. Nothing with the fuzzy wuzzies. And honestly, they're gonna come out with like 15 more designs before this year is over. Before this month is you over. <laughs> before this month is over. Release them every quarter. I, I always think it's so funny. What, like, you know, when we does a big unveiling, it's like, ooh. And then the next one's two weeks later. And uh, Yeah. I saw somebody in the comments, like, on their Instagram post say that, too. Was, they said, maybe you should slow down and stop releasing so many. I was like, there's someone that should be in our group. <laughs> exactly. There's someone that needs to that needs to join the Saviti Backlash Club. I have yeah. it pulled up over here, actually. But, you know, I mean, people will keep buying them. I'm sure the prices on a lot of these are absolutely atrocious. Yeah. But, you know, people will buy them. Yeah. yeah uh, I, I'm sure. Sorry? No, you go ahead. If people would uh, stop buying them so much, then they would might get the hint. <laughs> right. But the people love them, so they just keep buying it. So then they just think they're doing everything right, and they just keep releasing the same stuff over and over again. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, just just a lot of boring. <laughs> a lot of boring. <laughs> well, you can only release uh, so many knives before you start using the same ideas over and over again. Which is what they're running into. Yep. Yep. Well, and I feel like, as always, their collaborations with outside designers are just so much more interesting than what they come out with in-house, you know. Uh, besides that Oaks design. Sorry, but... <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the first... Actually, that's the first collaboration of theirs that I didn't like. I think so. I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> But, and and, and always this, work is always really good, too. Like, I have a lot of knives made by them that I absolutely love. The fit and finish right. is always there. That's one thing you could say about Wii. So they do a good job on their knives. It's just the designs are lacking. Exactly. Yeah. And their detents are hit or miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But you usually have That's... better luck with their thumb stud knives, though, than their flippers. Exactly. Well, yeah. I've been here kind of playing with the, the Mayan axe. This is probably the best reverse flicker I own, but the flipping yeah. action is eh. Yeah. So I'm sure that's what's going to come out in 2022, too. A lot of it's good, but eh. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. Well, I guess we should go on to the Savivis for my channel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that um, should be pretty good. <laughs> I guess I, I, I guess so. So if everyone's watching this on Sharpen's Blade on Sharpen Blades channel, go over to my channel and we're gonna look at some Savivis. Yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. Sounds like a plan. Do you want to do an outro for your video? Sure. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so these are our Wii Our knives. first time doing this. First yeah. time doing this. Yeah. <laughs> first time using Skype. <laughs> it, it, so, it's been uh, a lot of firsts today. Yeah. <laughs> so these, this is our kind of our, I guess you could call them first impressions of our uh, 2022 Wii knives. Uh, I've been Sharp and Blade. I've been Gideon Stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.